Hey, what's going on, my fellow Entropians? It's Cloak and Daggerish here, and I don't understand why it's always nighttime when I log on to shoot a video. So all my videos are super dark, and it kind of irritates me a little bit. I think they need to uh, make the night cycles not so long. <laughs> Just a little rant there. It's been messing up my screenshots lately. But so today, I wanted to talk about a profession that I had mentioned in my How to Make uh, Money guide in 2020 in Entropia Universe. And the profession that I mentioned was healing. Now we already went over how to become a master trader. And I have a video for that. And I will try to put a, where is it? A little, little card in the top corner there for you if you wanna go check out that video. We already covered how to become a master trader. In this video, I wanna talk about how you would get started in a healing profession. If you wanted to heal other people for money. And you can actually make really decent pet doing this, especially if you skill up and, and get a good reputation and get some decent clients. Uh, there's some people who, who are just full-time healers and that's how they make their pet to play in Tropia Universe to do other things. A lot of you are new players and you don't have the skills invested or the money or the time that it would take you to get to that point. And so I'm going to kind of give you the, the stepping stones of where to start and how to get into that profession. Oh, thanks, dude. Guy just repaired my, my ship there. Let's just say you're a brand new player, and we're going to go from there. So you're you're new to Entropy Universe, and you, you're kind of thinking in your mind, well, a healing profession would be pretty cool. Let's go that route. Where do you start? Well, you probably don't have any ped to buy tools with, and you don't have any skills yet, or if you do, they're very minimal. What I would recommend doing, and I'm actually here at Camp Icarus, let me pick up my ship. I would go over to the gauntlet guy. And if you don't know where he's at, I'll show you. Um, this is the main the main building that you'll kind of come out to uh, after you finish the opening tutorial. And you're probably going to need uh, a couple other people from around Camp Icarus to help you do this. But if you talk to this guy here, He's the gauntlet organizer. And I don't remember if it's the first one or the second one. I think there's two stages for it. It's been a while since I've done it. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you still get a healing tool after you complete either the first stage or the second stage. Again, you'll have to check with other people. Uh, but the tool you should get is this Vivo S10. This is what most people get for their first healing tool in the game. Uh, also, you can you can buy the ones out of the TT machine. Uh, they're fairly comparable. This one is nice because it's unlimited, so you can repair it and use it over and over. Um, it's great. It's meant for level one characters, uh, so it will uh, give you that it has a learning period for a while, so it'll help you get extra skills, all that good stuff. And you and you can tear it up and and make it better too if if you so desire. Um, I haven't done it myself, but I use this tool for a very, very long time. This is a fantastic healing tool. And you can use this to start your healing profession. So once you have healing tools or a tool to start healing with, where are you gonna get clients? Well, there's actually a chat specifically for healing services. It's called FAP. Um, it's not what you think it means. FAP stands for Fast Aid Pack. Um, and you can go into this channel and you can spam something along the lines of healing for DK. And then you would pin uh, Vivo S10 behind it. Now what this means is you're basically healing for free. Well, not for free. You're healing for skills. So somebody would hire you and they would pay you for the decay of the tool. Uh, so you don't make any ped, but you gain skill. And once you gain enough skill, you can upgrade to better tools. And once you upgrade to better tools, that's probably when you're going to start making money. It's, it's going to be pretty rare for you to find somebody who is going to pay extra for a Vivo S10 healer or a low level healer. Now you can ask, for tips or or leave it open-ended like that you could say healing for decay plus tips 
So you're not expecting people to pay you, but if they want to pay you for your services, if you do a good job and, and do what they ask, uh, they might give you a little something extra for your time. But like I said, don't necessarily expect it. And it's very hard to find work for a low level healer. Um, but so you might want to keep that that FAP tab open or in one of your in one of your chat tabs and just keep an eye on that because every once in a while somebody will post looking for an S10 healer and you want to jump on that as fast as you can because you have a lot of competition at that starting bar. Once you get past that, then it gets a little bit better. Another thing you could do to to skill up is you could go to uh, say the Club Royal where there's the big sweating groups where they sweat the big mobs. And you could just run around and heal people there for free. Actually, it's gonna it's gonna come out of your pocket, so you're you're gonna be losing money, but you're gaining skill. And if you're lucky, maybe somebody will give you uh, maybe some ped, or maybe even they'll throw a couple bottles of sweat your way uh, as a thank you for healing them while they're sweating, because that helps them out a little bit. So then they don't have to uh, wait for the respawn if they do die. Uh, it keeps them there sweating, and they keep making. That little bit of money uh, so that is another way you can uh, level up and, and get your skills of and of course you can heal yourself while you're out hunting uh, when you start out with like the punies and stuff you know they're gonna hit you quite a bit and you're probably gonna want to heal at least a little bit and then from there yeah you can just move up to different tools know that you're not necessarily limited to just the the fast packs you could also go into the uh, mind force area and you could use mind force chips for healing this is what i've been using a lot of lately the chips are fairly cheap and they use synthetic mind force which is or synthetic mind essence excuse me which you can get from the tt machine at least the low level ones are and yeah they're fairly efficient now is, are these better than say the other like the the fast aid packs and stuff uh, i haven't really crunched the numbers I kind of just went with this because the chips were cheap and I wanted to play around with Mind Force. Um, and Mind Essence is fairly inexpensive as well. And so I've, I've been playing around with it for a while. And I just kind of enjoy it. It's definitely a slower uh, version of heals where like the fast aid packs heal you faster. They do where these are a little bit slower. But these might do slightly larger amounts. And you, you might have to do a little bit of research. Maybe... Maybe I'll do a video comparing healing chips versus the, the fast aid packs or something in the future. But I just wanted to let you know that this is an option. This is a, a route you could go uh, is using these these different uh, mind force regen chips. Um, so I just ended the video and then somebody had posted in the, the fat tab. And I just wanted to kind of show you a better example of what somebody or a higher level person would post here. So here it says they're decay healing with the fast aid pack adjusted uh, so which means is you pay for the decay of them using this tool which it looks like it's two pack for every 50 hp restore so this is a pretty pricey tool um but it's a very nice high higher level one for the stats yeah um so they do tips are welcome teams are also welcomed and 9% fast reload. I don't know if that's a, a skill that they have or if that's something on this tool specifically. But And then you can add them later. So this is kind of what you would post or something similar to this. Just as an example. Um, so I wanted to share this with you guys here real quickly. All right. That's how you would get into the healing profession. And then it's just a matter of A, making sure that you're doing a good job so you have a good reputation because reputation is everything in this game. And if you can get a couple good clients that are willing to pay you for your services, that's fantastic. And then hopefully they'll refer you to other people that will also use your services. And from there you can kind of grow a little uh, healing business. Anyways, that's the way I would go about uh, trying to, to get into that. It's going to take time. It's probably gonna take some ped. Like I said, unless you get lucky, and you get somebody who's willing to uh, pay for your services early or even pay for that decay right away and maybe give you some tips. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be spending ped to get the skills 
to go into that profession. I guess the only other thing you could really do is you could chip into it. Uh, you could go onto the, the auction house and buy the skills for healing devices. And then you could therefore invest into a, a higher level tool and probably pick up some clients a lot faster. But then that's a lot more ped up front, but that gets rid of the time to entry barrier, I guess you would say, or the, the time it would take to grind out mm -hmm. those skills. It's gonna cost you a certain amount of money anyways. So just throwing that out there for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, of course. Head over to my Facebook page, Cloak and Daggers Gaming, for all my live streams. You can find a link down in the description below. I live stream on Mondays and Thursdays as well as the occasional random stream here and there. So if you could follow me over there, that'd be fantastic. I'm trying to reach 100 followers so I can get affiliated with Facebook. That would be fantastic. So if you could do that, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, you can also follow all my social medias. And like I said, everything is linked in the description below. And until next time, you guys have a good one.